It is my favorite time of the month, you guys. The month where I get to show you some more cool tech on the channel. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, Ed, you didn't really give us a cool tech video for the month of April. That is not true, okay? I gave you guys Pimp Your PC Under 50 Bucks. That was a cool tech episode for the month of April. And if you guys missed it, definitely check it out. It was a banger video. But with that said, I have another awesome cool tech video planned for you guys under $25. So sit back and relax and let the cool tech begin. That doesn't have a nice ring to it like Setup Wars. It's just, just cute intro. Before we begin, I'm gonna give a huge thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring today's video. For those who still live with Patrick under a rock, a VPN hides your IP address and encrypts your connection to keep you safe online. PIA is the world's leading VPN with over 30 million downloads around the world and over 20,000 VPN servers in over 70 countries. One thing I love about PIA is their user interface. It hides in the corner of your taskbar until you want to use it. Just click on the lock icon and select the country you want to browse from and then hit the power button. It's really simple. One of the more popular use cases for VPNs is to stream content that isn't available in your country. For example, in my instance, I have to switch over to Canadian servers just so I can watch my favorite show, Family Guy, on Netflix. And just for my subscribers, you guys can get two years plus three months for free plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you guys want to help support the channel and get protected while you're online, make sure to click the link down below. So I thought we could start off the video with something that I've been personally using for over six months now that's attached to the back of my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this is called a Moft and it's basically four things in one. It's a cell phone grip, card holder, a phone stand, and an RFID blocker all in this super sleek and minimalistic design. The Moft can hold up to three cards comfortably. I have my driver's license, my Chase credit card, and my Wells Fargo business debit card. You can also do a combination of things, like one card and some cash if you like. There's actually a much easier way of using this card holder, which I didn't find anywhere else, not even in the manual. So check this out, you guys. So I found that pressing down on the bottom part of the holder opens up the top portion, making it more comfortable to pull out or slide in your cards. You can also use this method to convert the moth into a stand within seconds. Just simply pull it all the way out and let the magnets do the rest. If you're 12 years old and still watching TikTok videos, you can put your phone in vertical mode, or you can simply lay your phone on the side if you're watching a movie or YouTube videos. Now the phone grip feature is something I don't use at all to be honest, but it's still a nice feature to have around, especially if you're someone who always uses one. Personally, I don't like the grip feature. It feels very uncomfortable in my hand because of the sharp edges, and it just feels so weird holding the phone with it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know, but I don't really care because I never use this feature. The RFID protection is also pretty cool. You know, with so many devices out there supporting wireless payment, it's a nice thing to have for that extra layer of security. As I mentioned before, I've owned mine for a little over six months now, and even though you can clearly see some wear and tear, it's still holding up very well. The adhesive is still as strong as it was on day one, and I haven't noticed any rips or tears. I highly recommend this to anyone looking to minimize their everyday carry while also offering some pretty cool features like the viewing angles and the phone grip of course and this does come in different colors as well. Add a bit of personality to your lifestyle and boring setup by going with a Cable Guys controller or smartphone holder. These are surprisingly made very well. The build quality is really nice and it pretty much supports all types of smartphones and controllers. It works well with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, my PS4 controller, and even the new custom PS5 controller that I got from the last unboxing video. I think this is a really cool way to add a bit of function and form to any setup. Cable guys are well known for their variety of stands that they sell. You are pretty much guaranteed to find one that fits your personality or theme. Instead of selling or getting rid of your older speakers or soundbars that don't have Bluetooth, why not just spend $23 and give them Bluetooth? Well, that's what this is for. This pretty much adds a Bluetooth connection to your audio device, allowing you to connect to it via Bluetooth. So you plug in the RCA cables to the back of your audio device, and then you plug in the other end into the Bluetooth adapter and give it power. Now, if your audio device doesn't have any RCA ports, then you just have to reverse the connection. So the RCA cables plug into the Bluetooth device and the 3.5 millimeter jack plugs into your audio device. Then all you gotta do is hit the pair button to sync your smartphone together or whatever device you are connecting together. This basically creates a bridge between your non-Bluetooth speakers and your device that you want to stream from. So my smartphone in this example. I've been reading the reviews of this and it seems like a lot of people use this with their older antique audio devices that don't have Bluetooth connectivity. 
They basically hook this up to their speakers and they can connect to it using anything that has Bluetooth. So smartphones, tablets, even their laptops and desktop PCs. So for example, if you want to connect your laptop to a soundbar or speakers that doesn't have Bluetooth connectivity, then you can use the adapter to create that bridge for you. You guys are probably wondering at this point if there is any quality loss using the Bluetooth adapter. Well, here's a quick demonstration using the speakers in my setup. So as you can probably tell, there is hardly any difference in terms of sound quality. This next item is really great for cable management. So if your cables are looking like last night's spaghetti, then listen up. These are zip tie mounts and they are so useful in tidying up your cables underneath your desk and I'm going to show you how. So let's say you have a buttload of cables underneath your desk and you don't have any raceways or signum racks to help you. Well, you can tie your cables together with a zip tie and mount them to the anchor point. These come in 3M adhesive already applied in the back. So all you would have to do is peel the backing and stick it underneath the desk. The best part about these anchor points is that they are really small, so you can put them wherever you need support holding up your cables. If the adhesive power isn't strong enough, you can also use a wood screw and drill through the hole from the mount and into the desk instead. This can be very useful if you're trying to mount a heavy item under your desk, like a power brick for example, but in my experience I didn't have to. Apparently two of these mounts are strong enough to support a two pound power brick from my laptop. Considering how many cable clips you get, plus the amount of support they offer for only $11, I think these will make an excellent addition to your cable management endeavors. Is your laptop suffocating because it isn't getting enough fresh cool air? Well, you might actually really like this next cool tech item. Did you know that most exhaust ports on older laptops or poorly designed laptops are actually located on the bottom? I'm looking at you MacBook. If your laptop is sitting flat on a surface, it's blocking the airflow which in return causes the laptop to overheat and thermal throttle. So if that sounds like your laptop, then I think you're going to like this next item. This is it. Literally, this is how small it is. These are magnetic cooling pads designed for MacBook Pros, but they do work with other laptops as well. The concept is stupid simple. They attach to the bottom of your laptop, lifting the rear end at an angle to help with heat dissipation. They are connected together by magnets and they are so small, making it perfect to travel with. Just pull them apart, stick them on your laptop and you're good to go. So if your laptop sounds like a jet engine or it's overheating all the time, then this might help you out. So this next item is definitely more situational than anything, but it can definitely come in clutch in certain situations. This is the Level Gear Cable Kit. It's basically a two-in-one USB keychain for both iPhone and Android devices. It's really small, so it doesn't take up extra space and it can be hooked up to your keychain. So you get this short but flexible lightning to USB cable. You also get a USB-C adapter and a SIM eject tool in case you need to swap out SIM cards. If your iPhone is low on battery and you have access to a USB power source, then you can plug this in and charge your iPhone. Now, if you're using an Android device with a USB-C port, then just plug in the adapter to convert the lightning cable to a USB-C cable. And well, you get the idea. Other than charging your phone, you can also use it for data transfer since the other end is a USB 3. This is definitely not for everyone, that's for sure, but it's one of those things where you don't really realize how much you need it unless you're in that type of situation. So it's more of like a backup than anything. You see this everywhere on Setup Wars. Fake plants are slowly taking over. Why, you might ask? Simple, it's a very cheap and effective way of adding a bit of decoration to your setup. Let's face it, you guys, the fake IKEA plan is overused, boring, and getting outdated really quickly. Why settle for something so cheap when you can get something a lot nicer? There are buttload, and I mean ass load, of different plants you can choose from on Amazon. I literally ordered like over 20 of them just for this video. Put them on your speakers. Put them on your PC. Put them in your PC. Put them wherever the hell you want and watch how your setup transforms. They might not produce any oxygen, but they will surely add a bit of decoration to your setup or space. These things are so cute and well made that they look realistic. My personal favorites are the ones from Very Home because they come in a mini ceramic pot which has this reflective surface and actually looks more lifelike compared to the other plastic ones. So if you guys want to add a bit of decoration to your setup while staying under a budget, then 
you definitely have to check these out. Last but not least, we have the Echo Gear on wall surge protector. I love this thing so much that I ordered three more to use around my home. So I'm sure this doesn't really need much explanation as you can probably tell what it is just by looking at it. This plugs into your already existing wall outlet and converts two of your AC outlets into four while providing two additional USB ports. But what separates this wall outlet compared to the others is that you can pivot the ports, which is awesome if you have any large devices or plugs. This gives you more flexibility in plugging more devices without having to worry about the rest of the outlets being blocked off by bigger connections. The outlet also features 1080 joules of surge protection, which filters outside electrical interference to fuel your devices with clean power, and it comes with a tiny hole in the center if you decide to mount it to your wall for additional support. And that is all the cool tech I have for you guys today. As always, links will be down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the series and want me to continue doing them every single month by dropping a like. And let me know in the comment section below if you're picking anything up. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love your beautiful faces and I'll see you very soon in the next one.